This week, an American intelligence drone was intercepted by two Russian fighter jets in the Black Sea near Ukraine. The aircrafts harassed it until it crashed into the international waters as per reports from U.S. defense officials. On the 14th of March at 7 a.m. in the morning, an unmanned General Atomics MQ-9 Reaper was doing its usual surveillance task when it crashed into one of two Su-27 fighters nearby, according to U.S. European Command. As stated by Pentagon spokesperson Brigadier General Pat Ryder, the propeller on the drone had been damaged which made it unable to fly or be controlled anymore, so they had to take it down. Intercepts of aircraft by military forces happen regularly and usually adhere to a set of rules governing the engagement. However, Tuesday's incident appears to have been unusually confrontational, which sets it apart from others. Samuel Bendet, a specialist from the Center for Naval Analyses, informed C4's Renet that Russian media outlets and other organizations pay close attention to U.S. drone flights in and around the Black Sea region and closer to Crimea. They even post maps of American drone movements in that area. He reported that there's a lot of animosity and indignation among people due to the fact that the U.S. has such advanced surveillance and reconnaissance tools while Russia seems to lack in this regard. He went on to say that the resentment held by Russians had been building for some time and would eventually lead to an outburst of some kind. This encounter was the first encounter between U.S. and Russian forces since Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022. It signifies a potential escalating tension between the two nations. Here are five other U.S. drones that have been downed, lost, or crashed in contested areas since 2015. Libya, 2022 and 2019. In August 2022, an Air Force MQ-9 Reaper crashed near Benghazi, Libya, prompting an investigation from U South Africa Command. A spokesperson for the command informed Military Times that the drone had crashed while offering support to Richard Nurlan, U.S. Ambassador and Special Envoy to Libya, during his diplomatic engagements. Unfortunately, it remains unclear what caused the accident. In 2019, the Libyan National Army in Libya apologized for mistakenly shooting down an American drone near Tripoli. They mistook it for a Turkish-made model that was used by competing militias in the region. To aid in counterterrorism efforts, the U.S. makes use of uncrewed aircraft in Africa to observe extremist activities and take out militants. Strait of Hormuz, 2019 In June 2019, the United States alleged that an Iranian surface-to-air missile hit an AVRQ-4 Global Hawk surveillance drone created by Northrop Grumman in an area of high tension, the Strait of Hormuz. This region serves as an important oil choke point internationally. In 2019, Air Force Lt. Gen. Joseph Gustella Jr., the then commanding officer of U.S. Air Force's Central Command, defined the attack as unprovoked and unwarranted. Colonel Gustella stated during a press conference at the Pentagon that the RQ-4 military drone was flying 34 kilometers away from Iranian shores when it was intercepted by their forces. It was at a very high altitude when this occurred. An extremely reckless attack happened in the vicinity of the well-known flight routes between Dubai and Muscat, endangering innocent lives. Such an act is not only irresponsible but also highly escalatory. The situation was a cause for great alarm as it threatened to escalate into armed conflict between the U.S. and Iran. At the time, former President Donald Trump had contemplated retaliatory strikes such as attacking missile and radar installations in response to the incident. Iranian authorities have claimed that the RQ-4 aircraft intruded their airspace boundaries. Yemen, 2019 In June 2019, Houthi rebels in Yemen successfully intercepted an MQ-9 Reaper drone, a type of unmanned aerial vehicle, with an SA-6 surface-to-air missile. The U.S. Central Command reported the incident, making note of its successful deployment. According to military command at the time, the drone was likely targeted with support from Iran and displayed an increase in the Houthis' capability compared to previous occasions. A few days after the incident, U.S. Central Command, CENTCOM, reported that a modified SA-7 surface-to-air missile failed to shoot down an MQ-9 aircraft monitoring activities in the Gulf of Oman. The missile missed by at least one kilometer. Syria, 2015 In 2015, the Air Force officially recognized that a General Atomics MQ-1 Predator was shot down in Syria, which was originally reported as communication lost with a drone during an intelligence mission. According to the Washington Post, Syria's state-run news agency reported that air defenses had shot down an enemy USA surveillance aircraft at a given time. Please check my other videos and links above.
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider a like and subscribe.